Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Zelda Classic. I'm SC Knuckles and for the next Zelda Classic quest, it is a hidden quest. With, so, without further delay, the next hidden quest for y'all is... Heroes Legend by Eddie the Oliveira. Yes, apparently I'm going to be playing another one of Eddie's great quests. Maybe I'm bragging too much, but hey, he's done a good job so far. Heroes Legend, I actually have a story with this one. I actually attempted to play this one back when it was a 2.10 quest. Yeah, it's now been upgraded to a 2.5. I did play at least up to level 4, and then the save file crash of Zelda Classic hit me, and... Yeah. We, you know, kind of can see where it's going from there. So up to probably level 4 is when it will be blind. Because I do know, I, I remember some of it, but I don't remember all of it. But let me just not brag anymore about my history with Heroes Legend. Let's get started. Let's go in. Find the quest. Alright, here we go. Heroes Legend. And let's get started with Heroes Legend. Hyrule Overworld. We got a magic meter and everything else. <laughs> and I gotta deal with the old four-way movement again. Well, doesn't hurt to go back to the basics. Okay, so let's move on and explore more moblins. Although I do kind of like the sword beam effect. It looks like barbed wire shooting out. What do we got in this cave? With the arrows, it is possible to enter the Icona Plains. Majora's Mask references, and what the... Oh... Enemies always respond. Oh boy, we have not dealt with that since Hero Story. Oh my gosh, the enemy's always responding thing. Well, I can survive it. And anyway, we have a hammer peg there. But do we have said hammer? Yep. And a Goma statue that is shooting at me! Goma girl, why are you doing that? Lots of stuff and more money and what do you have? Cave. Buy my stuff. I'm running out of business. Shield and potion. The keys. Please. Are we playing Zelda one? <laughs> now we start with the sword this time. I now noticed. Yeah, now I just noticed. Ooh, come and buy something. I promise you'd like this stuff. The bow is the only thing catching my eye. So we gotta buy the bow. Okay, and does the... Oh. Yes, the map function works. Good. It's always handy dandy to have that thing on. Okay. Just exploring the overworld and see what we find around here. Ooh. Somebody's dead. That's rude to see. Ah, no. I didn't mean to wake up your cousin. <laughs> right? You can't just disappear and then they go away. It doesn't work like that here. I do have to say, I think... I think this quest was made during the golden days of day series. We all know how the day series was. I still... This stuff's really helpful. Yeah, it is. I still remember the day series. That, by far, was a very good series. I don't really think... This is my opinion. 
I don't think we'll ever get a brilliant quest from Joel ever again. All we're getting is shit now. If he makes another day series game and it's like the four before it, he'll be back in. He'll be probably in good condition. We gotta at least have some serious quest from him anyway. We got a cave here. If I remember vividly, Eddie's fascination with homing traps for a heart piece. Oh boy. We're dealing with heart pieces again. <sighs> I forget what the last quest I had that was heart piece that had heart pieces. Did Hero's Memory have these? I don't remember. But anyway, a heart piece. Collect four and you get a heart container. Yes, I know. Heart pieces was always the one thing I never really did like. But, gotta deal with them. Woo. Now let's see about my epic skills of making it through traps. Woo. Oh, oh, it was activated. And we'll just walk by y'all. We'll just walk by y'all like meh. And I'm not even gonna bother to go any more further. Curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat, and I don't want it killing me. Now we have enough for bait, but I'd rather save up for the bow. I'm probably going to need that before even going into level 1. I don't remember. Yeah, even though I said I may... Even though I said I played this up to level 4, my memory of it is kind of fuzzy. And I... I don't think I ever saw Eddie's full playthrough of this. You know, it comes to a point where I just forget about watching my friends LPs because of my time. Sorry. I have life to deal with, too. I only can devote it to work and this and other things. And bombing. Oh, wait, we did have bombs. Er. Ooh, grass. Lovely. I am a lawnmower. Another cave. Another heart piece. Thank you. And another cave. What do we have in here? If you are lost, check your map. You might find places you missed. Uh, what is this piece of paper that says you are here? Is this toilet paper? <laughs> I know how a map works. Ugh. Well, can't blame him for giving advice. You look suspicious. And <laughs> got lucky with that, Octorock. Octorocky. Come and buy something, I promise you like stuff. Well, sorry, but somebody else sells that cheaper. You don't need inflation hitting anywhere else. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Misa don't want to die! Days. I'm just basically gonna grind until I can. I'm basically just gonna explore the overworld while getting money for uh, the bow. Then we'll just go buy it. Like VVV. VVV. I gotta blame Wayne for that. And we need a ladder to go there. Nothing really to ex nothing really here, just overworld exploration. And we need flippers to go through there. 
I don't know. Now, what's the subscreen look like? Well, it looks like a, a big version, which means it could have some items like that we would like, like the Lens of Truth and whatnot. I hope. Blue Octorockies. Well, at least there's grass. Thankfully. I'm just about to get the money for a bow. And, well, speak of, I have the money for it. Now, fault. Where the hell was it? I totally just forgot where the Dagon Bow was. I think you have it! I am amazing. And that was just a guess. Alright, let's look at our map. Where have we not been? Oh, we haven't been in that corner. Let's go check it out. What do you have, corner? A different colored tree. Well, I don't want to go that way yet, because I have a suspicion it might take me somewhere else. But let's go this way now and see what we can see. Money. Before we go up, his nose almost touched me. Wait, can we even say that's an Octorox's nose? Is he is he sneezing? Are the Octorox sneezing on us this whole time? Yeah, and yikes, I probably need the mirror shield for that. I don't think I'll get another shield by then. And here we are in Heroin Wit. Hero Wit. Heroin Woods. I gotta burn a bush. But I see here. Whoa. Okay, and I need ladder to go there. Ah! Arrows. Huh, different colored patch of grass. And stairs. What would stairs be doing in the forest? Somewhere in these woods lies a mythical sword. But the only way to get it is to get the item in level 3 and use it on that area. And level 1 is close by. White sword? What are you hiding? A cave full of Stalfos. Netting me a heart piece. Correct. Heart piece. Goody. I'm so happy. And some more stairs just randomly in a forest. Well, your prices are so high. Alright, what do we got this way? And what's in these stairs? Doing right lowered rounds. Okay, this I remember. The first letter of each of those words is the maze path. The the but the, uh, the screen below this is a maze path. So down right, left right. And I just noticed we had bats in here. Of course, it sucks having freaking black moblins. 
down. Right. I just want my health doing right lowered rounds. Oh, I was going to her. Doing right lowered rounds. Oops. Oh, I didn't go down. Durr. Down. Right. Left. Right. Ugh. Okay, and this is level one. The Heroin Shrine. And I have no idea what this new song is. Okay. Okay. No pushable blocks. I never assume there's pushable blocks. And I see a key hidden in the trap. And the traps phase through one another, and I'm probably going to need that key. Handsies! Oh, I was about to say just a one? Ooh! Yeah, I need that key. Whoop. And the compass. Yeah, the whole enemy responding thing is really gonna creep me out. Well, scare me away. Ooh. Why did the bats have to be all up on that block? Because we need to push it. It's saying, hey, push this! Alright, I'm determined to get level 1 done in this video. I probably will stick to the old formula. One dungeon per. Now let's get the key! Whew. Uh, let's see what's through here first. Ball store. Fine. Make me wait. But through these, no, they don't drop anything. Ah! Okay, that's kind of a bad thing when they have to spawn right on top of you. All right, give me your heart, skeleton. Stalfos, your sk Never question. Why am I asking for hearts from skeletons? Uh, I ask that every time. Oh, come on. Uh, they want me to die in here. Ooh. I won't ask. And bats. And one of them had bombs. I didn't even think I saw the bat carrying the bomb. I'm just gonna go around. And. I must need the boomerang. Uh, does the map function work here? No. Oh! Uh, 
Let me guess. A curved piece of wood? Oh, God. 2D sections. I should have expected this. Uh Duh, I forgot. This is when this is when Eddie was all, all the hype of 2D areas and I think he still is. Uh. There's the map. Doesn't look too big up here on the second floor. And woo! Black Moblins. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. I just realized those things were Stalfos too! Well, maybe that one was. Boring! Yay! I happy. Joy, Joy. And you're nothing. I hate you. Okay, now to go through this and that kind of scared me. All right, here we are. Sounds very epic for a level one dungeon. And I'm talking about the music. This is pretty much giving me the vibe of it's only just the beginning. The shrine may be small, but it is a good place for beginners. Are you calling me a beginner? I am not a beginner! Is. All right, the traps go through one another. Whoa, whoa, no. Okay, and I need to go up there for a good grief. This has to make. Oh boy, I don't think there's any way to avoid that. Okay. Yeah. Whew. Okay, go down. Korea's. Need, need a key. Stalfos. Littered. This is littered with Stalfos. Okay, I made it through here. Whoa, I almost thought deja vu for a moment. Oh god, Hainsies for days! Those killing that bat net me. Bragging rights. Oh boy. Should I have gotten a better shield for this place? Mm -hmm. Oh. We got the arrows. It's always right. We didn't need the bow.
Oh. If that bat came after me, I would have been so angry. Oh. Okay, maybe I have the confidence now to go through this. <sighs> Automated traps, of course. Whoop! <laughs> Alright, what do we have in here? Oh. Oh. See? I knew I would need that bow. And the bats didn't respond. Weird. Why didn't the bats respond? I would think everything responds. Yeah, come a little closer, hand. Let me read your palm. It says you're gonna die. Well, I could have came in here and dealt with the Stalfos. They have a chance to drop health. Or better. Two. Okay, no need to spoil me, Stalfos. And we need to go up. To deal with Goma. Whiff. <laughs> That's just when the old days of old Goma Girl being killed in one arrow. I certainly do. It always seems like she takes more hits. The Goma Girl is down. Adding me the boss key. Alright, let's uh, make a move for that boss door. And I'm just going to ignore y'all because I can. Stop insulting me, old man. I am anything but a beginner at this... At Zelda Classic. There were hangies in here. I could let them grab me and get me there quicker, but that would take away health as well. Like you did. Which makes me hate you. Oh. Oh. Oh, good. I can grab it. No, and the boomerang's got that animation of picking up things. Which I kind of don't like. Now to push you. All right, what is the boss? A blue goma. Survive. Now to fight him. Now to fight her. Oh, didn't even get to turn. And Goma, she is down. 
and Triforce. Okay. Well, level one done. Sweet. I really don't know if there's anywhere else I can go. But I'm just going to straight up assume that Goma statue we saw long before houses level two's area. Well, well looking at my time, well, I'm just going to make a beeline for it. If I'm missing anything, well, not too concerned about it. Although having the uh, magic shield would have been definitely useful for that fight. But dang, I just, I just proed it without it. with that. Yeah, looking at my time, I better just head on over to the Goma statue. Maybe I'll do something. I just want to end the video there. So we're making a beeline for it. Won't have enough for a magical shield, but oh well. Go away. And here we are in the Icona Plains with the Dark Overworld theme. Not my favorite version of it. That lies in Three Forces and Hookshot. Tactites. Uh, they become my new hated enemy. Just because of their unpredictable jumping patterns. Well, it looks like the Icona Plains are going to be a bit more in a key bush. Okay. To enter the Forbidden Castle, you'll need a key hidden in a cave. Should be easy to find since it's the entrance. Since the entrance is shaped like a diamond. Here's a tip. Once you get there, use an arrow to shoot to the tree to the far left in the diamond. Okay, and a uh, lone green tree that did not lose water in this desert. Gonna need something for there later, it seems. Uh huh, okay. Maybe that's what I need to shoot. the key. I don't think selling keys in a shop is a brilliant idea. Just saying. To me it seems more game breaking than anything. And do I need... I'm going to straight up assume I need a wand with book to even get in there. Gah! Hit something. Yeah, possibly. And well, why don't we explore the rest of the plains just so we get our map filled? Probably gonna need the croissant for that. And let's open up the key bush. 
And oh boy, I'm getting Castles of Peril vibes with this look. Oh no. It is like Castles of Peril. Even though it's suffered a change. Ay, ay, ay. ay. No, not, not Armos Mazes. Okay. Oh, rope. Rope two. And here we are in level two. The Forbidden Castle. Well, I think we've made good progress this very first part, so join me next time we go through level two. Heroes Legend, to be continued.